Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. I'm glad you could attend. Come inside today as we take a look at the drama horror film called A Measure of the Sin. Now, A Measure of the Sin is brought to us by Jeff Wedding, who also wrote the screenplay based off the story by Christine Nielsen. And we get the story of Meredith, who is living in this house with two other girls, their, their kid, and a, a person we only know as The Man. And we find out she's been living in this house for a very long time. She was living here with her her mother, but her mother now missing, has uh, given Meredith some motivation to try to get out of this household because everything's controlled by the man. He controls the lives of all of these women's in, women in this house. I mean, to the extreme, to the most disturbing, and uh, Meredith just can't take it anymore, and she looks at a way to try to get out. But at the same time, she doesn't know if she's ready to survive on her own because everything she's learned has only been brought to her by what the man has allowed her to learn. So she's got that fear of staying and fear of going. Folks, this was a very powerful film. Uh, really s s just grabbed me and sucked me in and pulled me in and I was really invested in the Meredith character played by Katie uh, Groshow. Now uh, the story is mostly told with uh, voiceover which may bug some people didn't bug me because it made it very more personable because it is very uh, a first person account it's told completely from perspective of Meredith and as you learn more and more about her life there it gets more and more creepy this film has this subtle escalation in the creep factor of this film as you learn more and more things through the eyes of Meredith the way she talks about things the way she talks about the bear that that no one else sees that sneaks into her room every night and does things to her. Thing, I mean, just this subtle creepiness that grows and escalates and helps you also feel for Meredith and see what her motivation is for getting out of this house and also just makes you you know, like I said, not like the man at all. The man played by Stephen Jack Stephen Jackson was really well done. In fact, everyone does a fantastic job in here. Katie uh, Gross Gross Hong as as Meredith was beautiful in this. She was in Jug Face, another independent film, and her performance was great. She really got across that emotion of a woman torn between leaving what she knows for leaving what she doesn't know, and which is the lesser of two evils. You also got Starina Jackson in here and Dale Rainey as the two other girls that live with uh, Meredith, and I loved their characters as well. And uh, uh, Alice Wicks, who plays uh, Meredith's mother, beautiful performance by her of a, this tormented woman who uh, you you feel she feels for her daughter and, and you just feel bad for all for them both in this movie uh, you know and what I that's what I really liked is it it was a horror there's some horror creepy scary moments in this but not jump scares not not gratuitous blood or gore it's it just very subtle but it just builds and escalates and you see Meredith's motivation and then something happens at the very end that I did not see coming but it made sense at first I thought maybe it was just put in there for shock value but then I more and more I thought about the character involved in this jaw dropping event which it did drop my jaw and I realized the motivation for why the character did what they did and that just added a whole nother level to a measure of the sin folks this is a very atmospheric film that has many many Horror, uh, horror elements to it, but they're not so much presented on screen as the elements are kind of given to you there and you put it together in your head. And I love that, that not everything was presented so blatantly and spelled out for you. You could put it together. This uh, Jeff Wedding is relying on the audience to be able to piece things together. And I love that. I love the fact he's giving his audience credit to be able to put together exactly what's going on in this life and, and the events and how they're unfolding. Now, there is a, a large amount of nudity in this film. So if you're put off by that, you may want to avoid it. Though the nudity isn't in, done, put in here to titillate as much as it is just to show how the life is for these girls and what things they have to do to uh, in their normal routines. So 
A Measure of the Sin is a, is a fantastically atmospheric, creepy film that definitely should be seen by horror fans out there. It's not a fast-paced film, but it does subtly escalate into more and more creepy to one jaw-dropping event that I didn't see coming. So I highly recommend this to everyone and anyone who likes a nice atmospheric horror film, they should check out A Measure of the Sin because there's drama elements, there's horror elements, and it definitely is made for a smart horror viewing audience, which I'm sure out there you are. So if you can at some festival, check out A Measure of the Sin. I'll see if I can get some dates or where it's showing. And until next time, folks, remember, keep that ticket stuff.